Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to That's So Awesome. Today we've got a review of the NECA Frankenstein figure from the Universal Monsters collection. This is from the 1931 film starring Boris Karloff. As you can see, he comes with some chain accessories there. Another closer look at the chains and shackles. This figure has nice paint applications as usual from NECA, has some weathering and looks like kind of mud on his pants and jacket. There is some articulation. It's a little hard to get the legs to move forward because of the length of the jacket. The knees do bend and the ankles move as well as the elbows and the shoulders and the head rotates. He comes with two different versions of the head, one laughing, one with kind of sneer. There's a back shot of the heads. They attach with the ball joint at the neck. Here's a look at the different sets of hands. He also comes with the flower accessories. A couple of the hands spread out. A set of them closed a little bit more. There's another closer look at the shackles. Here's a pose of Frankenstein offering the flowers to the girl in the film. Here's a shot of him with his arms extended out. You can see he has some scars on his forearm. And he can bend a little bit at the waist there, as you can see in the pictures. Nice shot of the boots there. Here's a shot if you want to display him in a kung fu mode. Overall, I'm really happy with the figure. I'm excited to get more from the Universal Monsters line. The prices are a little high now. Most of the places, it's about $35 for each figure now, which is kind of getting up there for the NECA line for me. Here's some shots of the figure outdoors. Looks pretty good in natural light. You can see the bolts in his neck as well. And another shot of his shoes outside and pants. He does have holes in the feet if you do want to display him on a stand. The stand is not included with the figure. Well, that's it for this review. Thanks for taking a look, and more reviews coming soon.